the oil and gas industry is expected to accelerate social economic growth and contributes towards poverty eradication and general prosperity of Uganda. But before Uganda starts producing oil, key issues touching on environmental protection and livelihoods of the project-affected persons have to be addressed. So we ask the government, especially in this Women Emancipation Drive, especially the Women Fund, to ensure that the women of Hoima and the surrounding areas get a figure, at least which is a surplus, which is extra from the other areas to cater for the women here, to ensure that we get alternative projects, handwork, practical skills, everything that can make sure that our incomes are supplemented to ensure that our people have a good livelihood. So a lot of work has been undertaken. The engineering design studies for both Kingfisher and Tilenga have been concluded. We've done the environment and social impact assessment uh, for Tilenga was last year in 2018. Now we are undertaking the public disclosure and public hearings for the Kingfisher project. There's also land acquisition that's going on for the different projects. And so when uh, all these, this work has been undertaken, the companies are expected to make what we call the final investment decision. Hoima district residents have high expectations on the impact of the resource. This was evident during the environmental and social impact assessment report public hearing in Kabale Township, Buseruka sub-county. However, one of the major concerns raised is the fact that SU report prioritizes environmental issues over social issues. Uh, whereas in the past these processes were looked at as environment impact assessment, the government has since moved to merging social issues into these reports and we believe uh, CNOC should endeavor to ensure that social issues such as issues to do with resettlement, issues to do with uh, livelihoods and economic impacts of the project on the host communities are addressed. Tumwewaze Innocent, a project-affected person, is pessimistic about the Asia public review process, despite loading the stakeholder engagement initiative. I also have that thinking that even if we, are, we have given out issues, you never know. You might find even the issues we have given are left out. However, his sentiments are challenged by the oil and gas developer, Chinese National Offshore Oil Corporation. This is a very good opportunity for us uh, to engage the public so that whatever is brought forward is put into consideration. That is why we have such a massive event with so many people because they know that if their issues are raised out there, Sinop will be able to respond to these issues. The government of Uganda has planned commercialization of the discovered oil and gas resources in the Alberta and Graben. The plans include development of a refinery in Buseruka sub-county, Hoima district. Dennis Igoa for UBC News.